we found him once again. All right, so we filled in three squares. Only like 30 something more to go. We're just gonna do these as we go along, though. I'm not gonna have a video where it's just me filling in the map, except for the last couple of squares that are totally optional. Uh, let's see here. He just tells you throw some bait in the water. Okay. Uh, I didn't. I didn't press the button to get. It. I didn't press the A button that many times. What the heck? I don't know. Maybe my wireless GameCube controller is acting up. But um. What you're gonna see here on in this square of the map at Bomb Island, which is this one right here, as you can see, it looks like a bomb. How clever of them! Uh, when you go over here, you're gonna be seeing the submarine that's sticking out of the water. You are gonna want to go in there. Trust me. Oh wait! Oh wait! Oh, wait! Before you go inside, I see a potential for a joy pendant. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that. Thank you, and good night. <laughs> That's so funny, could you imagine just like standing out there like on a raft in the middle of the last and see? Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna get food next. All I got left is this pretty little necklace that I found. What? And then like suddenly it gets snatched away from you. Um. Oh god, no, I hate the rats in here. There, there's some rats in this area, which obviously will take your rupees. Oh, they're hitting each other. I'm not even hurting them, and they're already like half dead because they're hitting each other. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and get their joy pendants. Um, I'm not sure. Are joy pendants in Phantom Hourglass? I don't remember. Uh, I've actually been playing through Phantom Hourglass lately, and you know, I don't think it's really as bad of a game as most people are saying. Um, the rats do not drop anything, though, so don't worry. Uh, there we go. Um, ah, here we go. This guy right here, he's got a shield, but that doesn't mean you can't still snatch his joy pendant away. Go ahead and just do the spin attack to get through his shield. You can take his sword if you want, though, but it's not really necessary. And right here, a treasure chest is going to spawn. And inside that treasure chest... Come on, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. It's something we already have! Yes, it's empty bottle number two. There's four empty bottles in every Zelda game, except for Majora's Mask, where there's six, and Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, where there are none. Um... Four bottles in Zelda games is always kind of a, you know, thing, though, so you can carry four fairies with you, you can carry quest items with you, it's just, it's kind of weird to have such a simplistic item, just always had such a major role in the Zelda games, I don't know. But yes, we have our epic bottle, and you know what that means? Well, technically we can, because we can't hold two items, this isn't Twilight Princess with the double claw shots. Uh, assuming we could hold two items, we could do a double bitch slap! Yeah. Um, over there, that glowing area in the sea over there, I don't know if you can see that. Um, that glowing area, uh, basically that is where you can dig for treasure. Well, not really dig, though, but use your claw, your grappling hook as a crane to get treasure. I would recommend leaving all the treasure alone for now because your wallet is so small. So, it's kind of a waste uh, with all the rupees that you get, though, because 9 out of 10 of those things are going to be rupees, though, and you don't want to waste rup you don't want to waste the rupees in the game's world for now, because getting a ton of rupees is indeed required later in the game. Like, you're going to need to get, like, 3,000 rupees really late in the game. So, I do not recommend wasting that now. Uh, anyway, we went ahead and got two joy pendants there. And oh! Tread! Ah. That was weird. I went to scratch my nose, and I, like, smacked right into my microphone. <laughs> Um, speaking of which, I want to know, how is, do you guys think my voice sounds? I don't really think it sounds that different, though. I've gotten a few comments saying it sounds different, though, which, it kind of makes sense, though, because I got, like, a much more expensive type of microphone, like, a few videos ago. So, I guess I just want to know, like, how it sounds. And where's my ship? There it is. Um, anyway, uh, go. Go, jeez. Um, right up there, those two towers. This is not Lord of the Rings. Uh, that is where we are headed. Uh, let's just go ahead. Hopefully this thunderstorm will subside pretty soon. I get the feeling that... Uh, no, don't tell me it's going to be raining. Actually, I think the rain subsides when you get close to islands. I don't know. I'm not really sure. But we're coming up on the time limit, as well as coming up on the next island that we're going to, though. So when we get there, I think we're going to end this off, though. So, let's see here. I think the cinematic's going to be starting any moment here. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Yes, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? That is where you must go, Link, the Forest Haven. Alright, so, in this episode, we reached the Forest Haven, though, so, next time on Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, we're going to start exploring this cool place. See you guys then.